Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Let's Build a Victorian House with Vigo Man himself. Today we're continuing the build we started last episode, where we left up, left up, we left off with a facade here, which looks pretty cool. So this is recorded straight after episode one. So I have had, I don't have any chance to check your comments, but I bet you guys were awesome <laughs> in the comment section of last video. So thank you so much guys, I'm just assuming you were awesome. Um, today we're gonna build a little bit more of the outside here. Hopefully get most of the outside done, maybe not the roof, but the rest will probably be done. Let's see here, I want to make some kind of bay window here. So let's see if we can do that. Um, like that, then I want to have you up here. So this would be like the bay window inside the parlor here. If you wasn't, if you didn't watch the last episode, let me go through the, the layout here with you. So we had the front, cool. We have the porch area, then we have the hallway here with the stair. This will be the stair inside like this column here. This is a parlor or like the entrance lobby. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, living room. Here will be the main living room. Some kind of closet or storage for the kitchen, which will be here. And the dining area, which will be here. Very cool. So I'm playing on the World Corrales server as last episode. If you don't know what that is, that is a creative server for realistic Minecraft builders building houses. Uh, like the one I'm building at the moment and other, the other build. Let's take a small look here. You can see there's a lot of Victorian houses here. Um, this is a free build, so the builds are not... Not every build is like top notch, but the the standard on the server is quite high. So yeah, uh, you can apply on the server on the website www.worldcorralis.net. Uh, the standards are really high, so don't get disappointed if you're uh, rejected first time. But just try again. So using Flow's HD texture pack as well, if you were wondering. So I'm building this bay window here, put some kind of roof on top of it, looks awesome. Then I just want to keep on expanding this wall up. And yeah, for getting some sandstone blocks here, there as well. I'll put some windows in here later, I'll just fill in the wall first and just carve out the windows. Because that's quicker than just building the wall around windows. Okay, so let me take a look here. Okay, so we have the bay window there. Uh, I think what would be cool is if we put two small windows on top here and maybe make them, let's see if I, too wide. Is that too much? That might be a little too much. Is that too much? Yeah, that's a little much, but if we go in, do that, kind of shrink down the window size, that looks better than replace this with a stair, because we can. And I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. Then make some kind of steep pointy roof thing here, because we like that. Yeah, cool. Uh, where's my window panes? There you are. Is this the correct one? No, light gray. Oh, lag spike. I'm sorry, I'm getting some weird lag spikes lately. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but as you know, my fraps has been real weird lately. So that might be causing some of the uh, frame drops I have from time to time. But just ignore them, guys. Okay, so this side is looking pretty sweet already. Uh, we'll use this, place you there. And then just make the frame up here so we get a feeling on how the roof will look like look like from the side here. Come on. There we go. Then sorry for awkward silence guys, I'm just concentrating. Building these roofs are really hard. Like that. Awesome. So let's put in some details to 
<laughs> this side here, which we did in the last episode. Where did we put them? Just straight above the windows here. So like here. Kind of keep the this style going to kind of connect the house together. And wow, that looks beautiful so far. I love this build. So it's been ages since I've been building my in Minecraft. So yeah, it's really weird for me to be back in the creative mode again. But hey, it's fun. It's really fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this series here. How's that looking? That's looking fabulous. That's really looking fabulous. So this will be some kind of entrance to like the side here. Maybe a small porch area will be around here. I don't know. But let's just pull that up. And it will be as tall as the rest of the build, I guess. I think we'll go for that. Because it's a suburban house and they will use all the place they have. So they don't waste stuff on making only one floor high. So the door will be here. Then we'll go up like that. Place black stained glass up. Put a window here, I guess. Like that. Then, where is you? There you are. Like that. Perfect mundo. Um, let's make some kind of porch area here. Where is you? Uh, stone slabs. Where are you? There we go. And maybe just... Oh, wrong block. Cobblestone like that. Then you can go down like that. And if we just take you up like this is this cool just doing the same design as I did on the porch on the front side and we might get a cool result by that doing that um, yeah slabs that's looking pretty amazing let's place another one right there just to get symmetry and man I love that also, just continue the wall here. This will be the living room. This will be a fireplace. Because we're building the house in bricks, maybe we're issue. There we are. We might do the fireplace in nether bricks. As long as it doesn't contrast too much with the build. Um, yeah, we might do that. Let's raise up the walls here. All the way up. So guys, if you're watching this series here and you have some feedback, or comments of something I could do differently or maybe ideas for future builds, I don't know. Make sure to let me know with a comment down below because I really like to listen to my subscribers and I can promise you that I will I will uh, reply to your comment. Whatever it is about, I will reply. So don't, don't be ashamed to go down in the comment section and give me feedback. I really appreciate all the feedback I can get. So yeah, the fireplace is going here. Just shrink it in and then go up like that. Is that contrasting too much? No, I don't think so. I don't. I really don't think so. But we might actually be able to put in a window here. Yeah, let's do that. Like that. Awesome. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's also add in kind of these details to the corners. Oh, lag. And yeah, that looks awesome. Just continue doing this. Oh, no, that's completely wrong. Why did I do that? Down one one and then. Like that and continue the frame around I will not do the roof until the end because the roof is kind of hard and I won't do that before I got all of the walls in place and wow Vico man is satisfied I really like this so far really enjoying the style new color pattern that I haven't really been using and I, I really enjoy this let's fill in this like this back wall here this wall is kind of pointless because you can't really see it but we'll put some windows here for the kitchen and stuff 
um, just because realistic reasons. And it also gives the house more character and personality. So, yeah, let's just do that. I could use world edit here, I think. Let's see if I can do that. Much quicker. Bam! Magic! Then, add, take details to the corners, like that. Oh. Perfect Mundo. How does that look? Yeah, it's just very plain though, but... Oh! I think we're having a restart. <laughs> okay, we're back. We just had a restart on the server and I was kicked. But, I'm back. And how will we do this? Let's actually just plan out where the table in the dining area will be. So let's make a tree wide one, like that. Okay, so we'll have a chair here. Or there, there. There, there. There, okay, something like this, I guess. It's probably best. Can I have... Hmm, yeah, something like that. And then, make the windows out from that. So if we have a window there. And there. I think. Oh no, Let, let's actually go crazy, go a little bit bananas here. Um, why don't we put a fireplace right here? That will be awesome. And kind of cozy as well, because sitting, eating dinner in winter times with a fireplace, oh wow. That will be awesome. I really like how the nether brick also contrasts with the rest of the build. It kind of stands out, but it doesn't destroy the build, I think. I really think it just fits really nice into here. So rest this up as well. So we have fireplace there, then we'll no windows on this side. Uh, how we do that in the window or in the windows in the kitchen area, we might have to see when we're doing the interior because kitchens are kind of tricky because you have to really make it fit into the interior of the kitchen, the benches and stuff. So I'm not gonna do the windows there, just have to wait until that time comes when we will do interior. Let's just crack on with some. Uh, this is an even number that's really hard uh, something like this i guess you can't really see it and people will not notice it but let's just try to make it as hidden as possible that this is an even number side you can't really tell that it's even and uh, yeah awesome oh totally forgot about this this bad boy the hardened clay let's cr put that in somewhere around here Oh, lag spikes. Here we go again. And I used to play some of this hardened stained clay while building Victorian brick houses because uh, Victorian houses are old, built in the Victorian era, therefore the name. So the brick will probably have been worn out a little, or not worn out, but torn up a little and might be like replaced or strengthened with some kind of cement or I don't know concrete to just support it a little so I like to just put it in there and it looks really realistic that it's kind of supported so let's just do that some more places around here because that's the point I'm um, why building in on this server building on the world trial server is to create realistic buildings so therefore I like to just put it in there yeah, that looks pretty sweet. The back side here will be really simple as well. Let's just do some quick world editing, getting the walls up. Oh, can't type today. So brick. Put this here as well. Set in the sandstone details on the corners. And then just wrap this around. Hopefully this is an odd number. Yeah, this is an odd number. Perfect though. Then wrap this around. Like that. So this is a living room. We might have some cool windows going here. We also have the like the porch area. How okay, so this. Hmm. 
inside is even. That's really, that's kind of hard. Uh, if we, okay, let's go with bananas here. Make a door in the middle, then two windows on the sides. Yeah, I think that's the design I'm going for. Something like this, I guess, would be cool. Yeah, awesome. Let's just do that quickly, put in the window panes here. And we have a decent design. I don't want to make a roofed porch back here, I think. I think I'll just stay with... Oh. Some just kind of plateau area. And built up, and then we'll have some kind of lawn back here. Where we'll have some activities, maybe a parking lot and some trees and garden and stuff. But let's just fill in with stone swabs. And we'll make some kind of... Uh, some fence around here. Make the same kind of fence we did on the front using this. Okay, so tree, okay, and tree, and tree. We'll have like maybe something like that, I guess. I don't know. Let's just try and make something cool out of this. Oh no, okay, there we go, and then two blocks like that, and we have something, I think I like that, I, I, nah, maybe, um, this area will be a little plain, but we'll add, let me see, just line it up here, there's a window here, but this area will be plain, there will be some windows up here, um, that's, regarding to whether we build bedrooms or stuff like that on upstairs so that's really hard for me to tell right now how the windows will look but guys i will end today's episode right here thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and if you haven't done it already be sure to subscribe and all that stuff and i will see you all guys later in the next part of let's build a victorian house it has been Vigoman.